Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you um, a little art project I've been doing uh, with all the coronavirus stuff that's happening um, just while I'm staying at home. Um, kind of, it's honestly something I've been meaning to do. Um, just like trying to uh, cure not only just the boredom, but I just kind of been trying to get back into art just because um, I used to do a lot of art when I was younger and, you know, through high school and maybe a little bit in college. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get back into that and show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to be doing like an ocean kind of 3D acrylic painting, um, painting. So the first thing I did um, was as I kind of drew a little line here. So you'll have the ocean here and then you'll have the uh like beach sand seashells here which i will show you guys um so what i'm using is i have some brushes um i have my paints here uh, i have sky blue like an aqua and then turquoise and here's my mod podge and then white and blue so pretty simple um you can use different colors darker hues of blue like it's totally customizable you can just do you know whatever you want um, you know so the next couple of things I have here these will be like my glass pebbles I got this idea from a few other youtubers because I just have um, some shells like I collected a bunch of shells um, from the beach quite a while back maybe over the past two years and I just been meaning to do an art project with them but it's just you know I just never got to it until now um, I decided to pick up some sand because I didn't really have the foresight to pick up some sand from the beach. But I got these items from Michaels. Um, I use their coupons they send in the email. Um, and then they have like the ones that come in the pay like the mail, like the kind of what we refer to as junk mail coupon ads. Um, I got all these for pretty much anywhere from 30 to 50% off each. So I usually kind of buy these things one at a time to, you know, save some money. So. I think I only paid like a few bucks for this, for each of these items. Both of them are under $5 because I got 50% off. Um, and then I'm using some seashells that I have uh, both from um, picking up. I have some shells that I got for crafts and then I have ones that I also picked up from the beach. Um, I did a, like a YouTube live video, but I'm kind of decided to do this again so I can record a video specifically for YouTube just to kind of show you guys closer up what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, you just need some paints. Um, I have the Mod Podge. You can also get that at Michael's. I got that at Michael's for like $5, normally 10 And then I also have oops, a glue gun. Uh, you know, what I'm going to use to glue on the shells and the beads and stuff at the end. I, <laughs> on another video, the last painting that I did, the Mod Podge, just like, I watched someone who used that to glue on the shells that did not turn out. It barely kept the sand on, so I was a little disappointed by, by that. So I used the Mod Podge just for the sand. I'm going to do that this time around because um, the Mod Podge just didn't hold the seashells um, or the beads. <laughs> So get a glue gun or you can use super glue um, for that, but yeah, the Mod Podge won't hold it. You can also use Elmer's glue for the sand. The Mod Podge will hold the sand here. I honestly didn't think it did a very good job. Um, we'll see this time around, um, but you have to put the sand on like right away, right? As you put the Mod Podge on, you have to put the sand on right away, otherwise the sand will not stick. Um, so that's just kind of my opinion. Um, I saw some of those use Mod Podge and stuck on great, but it just, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out this time. So I'm going to go ahead and start off. Um, and you can mix colors. Um, I'm going to start off with maybe this darker blue and turquoise to kind of paint here. Paint the top. And you know, as I go along, you'll see me kind of like blend the colors. So like that, you see me kind of do that. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to take this outside. Yesterday when I filmed my YouTube live, it was super sunny. <laughs> so there was a lot of glare 
and shadows. Um, hopefully it's a little bit better now. It's a little bit overcast as um, you guys can kind of see. It's a little bit overcast. So I just kind of figured that that would be a good opportunity for me to film a YouTube video so that you guys can see it without like a whole lot of lighting issues. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start on my painting here. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so this is what we have here. So you want to like paint around the edges here. Depends on what kind of ocean you want. If you want something that's like darker in color, more vibrant. I mean, the ocean, you know, I think this is, as far as blues go, this is pretty customizable. Like, it doesn't have to be um, like a specific, like one color, you know, because like some parts of the world, like the ocean is actually very clear, um, translucent. Um, so just honestly, you know, that's just art, you know, you can make things different. So go ahead and get those on there. I'm going to do, I'm doing this one for my sister-in-law who uh, had an ocean themed bath bathroom. So I'm doing this painting by request. The other one I did yesterday is probably going to go on my wall. I'll probably make more of these. These are actually pretty simple to make. Um, I got all of these canvases uh, at Michael's shortly before. We have what's called a shelter in place right now in California. Um, I think Michael's is still open because they're deemed an essential business. Um, but I had to pick these up beforehand uh, because I had a few coupons. Um, just, you know, so I could have some things at home to help, you know, cure boredom, pass the time. You know. So that's why I decided to pick these up and all the stuff I needed. I got this, in the canvas, in a pack of seven, 50% off. So this was like... $10. I think it was originally $19.99. So I got this on sale. You know, got to save money. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited um, to have a bunch of these. I don't think I'll need more, but if I do, I think Michael's has, they have like a curbside pickup, you know, so that way you don't have to have any contact right now. And you can help support businesses. So I'm gonna go ahead. See, it's coming along pretty nicely, I think, here. say depending on how fast you work this probably takes like 30 40 minutes or so to make so here's what we got so far Gonna take some other brushes here and kind of maybe weave in some other color just to kind of give that some cool look. I'm 
And so for those of you who don't know, I live in California, so we're on complete lockdown right now. Um, but as an introvert, I don't find it too bad. I know a lot of people have a lot of cabin fever. Um, so it's a good way to pass the time. It's just uh, for me, it just gives me a chance to work on some things I just otherwise haven't really had time for. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I'm getting pretty close here. Uh, So we're just about done with this part. And I also picked up um, some acrylic paints from Michaels. You can also get them on Amazon. Um, they have some pretty good deals. I think I paid like $15 for a little set at Michaels. Okay, so um, do a little bit more here. Okay. Ready. So, alright, let's work on the Mod Podge, and I'm going to have to um, do this fairly quickly because, um, and lather it on. You'll have to lather it on quite thick because otherwise the sand will not stick. Um, so I'm going to have to do this quickly, work quick, quickly on this. Kind of see here's the sand. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working here. And you may hear turkeys and uh, other wildlife in the background. Just kind of layer it on here. Because yesterday when I did this, it did not stick very well. Um, I accidentally, if you can see that, kind of got a little bit of blue on there right here by um, accident. So, I'm, you know, that's okay. Um, I'm going to be covering this with, with sand anyway, so it won't be a big deal. Um, okay. So, all right, I might actually even do another painting here because I have so much paint and I don't want to waste it. So, I might do a third canvas here. So that's good. We're going to go ahead and put some more sand on it. Oops. Okay. 
You can also like put this in a smaller bowl and um, kind of sprinkle it on this way, but I find this is a tiny bit easier, a little bit less messy. You can also put it in like a salt shaker and kind of drizzle it on that way. So, you know, whatever works for you. Trial and error from what I kind of learned in the last round. Alright, so I'm kind of smoothing it here. Okay. So this probably took me maybe 20 minutes. Have to check the camera later. Okay. So I think this one turned out a little bit better than the last one. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that here, but I got a little spot right there. Okay, see? Right here. Got a little spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover that. No big deal. There we go. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white. Um, okay. I'm going to do the white right here. I'm going to get the white there. And I'm going to oops, going to make some, well, I think I might let this um, dry a bit more actually, because otherwise, well, let's try it here. Okay, yeah, so if you can carefully see here, I am basically just kind of making the white, kind of making some waves here. Um, yeah, it's not quite dry enough, so it's blending together a little bit, but that's okay. Um, that's totally okay. I think it's cute still, so let's just see how that works out. I mean, because that's the ocean for you, right? It's gonna, it's gonna blend. Like, the waves are gonna blend, so let's see. And, you know, it's messy. Like, you know, you see the sand and the waves, you see different colors and the waves, because that's just, you know, that's real life, so... Yeah, that's realism for you. Okay. So, you guys can kind of see that. So it's a very easy project. You can even do this with the kids at home. For those of you who have kids, uh, you can do this with kids. This is really simple. Like this is super simple, uh, super fun. I think for any level of art. Um, so you know, just kind of have fun with it. So here we go. Here's our waves. So okay. So I think. We're about done with this one. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to glue on the shells. Actually, see right here is a little bit of sand. I think um, I have a little bit, I have a little reserve of sand here from when I was shaking off the painting yesterday. So I'm just going to add that a little bit here. And it's okay, like... I would recommend doing this outdoors because otherwise uh, you're going to need a vacuum handy. Or um, if you have wooden floors, you're going to have to sweep it up. It's a little bit messy. So I would recommend maybe doing this outside. That way, you know, it's a little easier to sweep up. But if you have, um, like, wooden floors or tile floors, you can just, you know, it's not a big deal. You just sweep it up. But I have carpet inside, so I came outside to do this. It's 
little a little less messy, I should say. All right, so here's what we have here. And it looks like the Mod Podge is doing a tiny bit better. It's still kind of, you can kind of see it's coming off a tiny bit, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. So I'm going to, before I glue on anything, I'm going to kind of shake the excess off here. Um, all right, still quite a bit. Yikes, okay, this, this Mod Podge just really, yeah, okay. All right, I guess that's not terrible. We can kind of see why I recommend doing it on our scissors. We have a little bit of gap right here. I can all, I can actually just fill that up with some shells. Um, but yeah, this Mod Podge, I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't think I recommend it, but I have, I, mean, I have it, so that's what I'm using. So this is what we have here. So what we got right here. So not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and glue um, where that little spot is, some shells. Um, and okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the glue gun ready. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and oh, it's not quite ready yet so wait a minute or two i think in the meantime while i'm leaning i'm gonna throw a tiny bit more blue on here be about ready. Let's try it out. See which shell I'm going to use. I need a large one to kind of cover that up. This might work. Um, but maybe I might do a big shell like this one. Kind of cover. Yeah, that works. So, let's see. Just be careful not to burn yourself like I did because that's what happened yesterday, guys. See? Alright. So, I'm just going to put that right there. Should, uh, I'm gonna do this a tiny bit more. You have to do this quickly because the glue will dry quickly. Alright. It's a little challenging with these larger shells, to be honest. This is kind of what we're working with here. Kind of just gluing the shells on. I think I'm going to do the shells first. Oops, I'm running out of glue. I'll go ahead and grab some more glue. Alrighty. So, um, I just plugged my glue gun into my outside outlet. Um, so, it's pretty easy. I think this one I'm going to put on this side. You kind of just have to hold them down, especially these bigger shells. You kind of need a little bit more to hold them down, um, otherwise they won't stick very well. <laughs> so, so let's see. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with some smaller shells on this one. So you have to be really um, uh, generous with your um, amount 
of super glue because otherwise it won't stick very well. But just be careful not to um, stick your fingers. So I don't, I don't want to weigh the painting down too much. So this is what we have. It looks good. I really like how it's turning out so far. So I'm going to find some smaller shells here. Um, let's maybe try this guy. This is kind of pretty. Okay. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, let's try this guy. Let's do. Oh. Yeah. I think that would be easier if it's like that. But no, actually, no, it has glue on it. So I think that's going to work. This is like a simple Sunday project, do at home. I'm going to do one more of these. Mm. Mm. I think this one's going to need a little bit more glue just because it won't stick otherwise. So the larger shells, you can definitely use the larger shells, but uh, make sure that it's sticking. Okay. This one I think is on here pretty good. I'm just going to do a little bit more glue right there. So there we go. Alright, so I think I'm going to use one last shell, maybe maybe like that. Alright, so it kind of it works out well. Right, so there's the shells. Um, this is kind of how it looks. It looks really nice. See, guys, this is super easy. Quick to make, you know, any level of art. So I'm going to go ahead and glue on like these little cobalt blue balls. <laughs> okay, that didn't sound right. <laughs> but that's what they are. They're cobalt blue balls. So. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and glue them on here. So okay. So yeah, I try to pick up things at Michael's whenever I get those coupons. It's like maybe an item here and there. So like all the project um the little items I got for this. I got over like, I don't know, a month or two, you know, just kind of like, oh, no, I'm going to do this. Um, and just like whenever they have sales, I pick up stuff, um, you know, save money because they have those coupons that are like 50% off like one item, right? Um, so whenever I get those, I just go pick up an, um, items little by little. This past week, they because of everything going on, they had like a 40% off an item. 50% off an item and then like 30% um, off like pretty much everything um, at Michael's and including sales I believe. So I use that opportunity to buy a bunch but a couple of these things like the sand I picked up a while back. Okay so I think that is it. 
Um, you can add, feel free to add like pieces of glass. Like sometimes, you know, you'll see those soft pieces of glass at the beach. You can use those. I just decided I like these. I like these little marbles. I thought they're pretty. So I got the marbles. Um, but next time I go to the beach, I'll maybe get some little pieces of glass. Um, so yeah, you can use, uh, you can use pearls, uh, beads, you can use so many different things. Just, you know, it depends on you, whatever your heart desires, you know? So this is, look guys, this is like super pretty and I made this super quickly. <laughs> um, so it's fairly easy. Um, I think it turned out much better this time to be quite honest. Um, but you have to really layer on that Mod Podge, um, to get it to stick. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.